How's this for minimum wage? One Boston-based burrito chain pays its entry-level workers up to $10 an hour. That chain's CEO says he feels he should pay them even more. John Pepper is the CEO of Boloco, and he joins us now. Have I got the pronunciation right, John? It is Boloco? You did, yes. Okay. We're, not in, we're not in New York, so if you didn't, we would have forgiven you. <laughs> well, yeah. thank you very much indeed. Um, look, why don't you... Look, there's a strike across fast food chains all across this country today. Yeah. They want 15 bucks an hour. Why don't you pay your workers 15 bucks an hour? Well, we have a number of people in our company who do make over $15 an hour. Um, yeah, but not the but, people who, are who work the cash register. No, so why don't you pay them? Why don't you pay them 15 bucks? Well, the, the industry that we're in, the restaurant industry, has traditionally uh, made, made its money by controlling costs. Of course, you're always building sales, but you're controlling your food costs. And one of your biggest costs is your labor costs. And one of the ways to keep your labor costs down is, uh, is, is by keeping wages down. And it's a lot easier to keep wages down than it is to find better practices, bolder practices, more efficient practices, which come through training. And so uh, it, the, the default response to how do we keep labor costs down, which is where your profitability is, is to keep wages down. So you don't um, approve of the government dictating $15 an hour or any other minimum wage. You, you don't want this, this a, a diktat yeah. from government, I, I, presumably. I, I don't, I mean, this is going to sound terrible. I don't really care about the government in this instance right now. We, we have to work beyond the government. We have to work for the better of, betterment of our people and our business and our shareholders. And it, it really comes down to what's the right thing for growing the business and, and really for having a sense of fulfillment that we're doing the right thing so that we look back in 10, 20 years from now, we know we were part of of, of the, the few businesses today, but it will grow, that did the right thing for its people and in the process built great, profitable, responsibly profitable businesses um, by helping people as opposed to doing everything possible to keep wages down, we're constantly looking for practices and, and ways to bring wages up. Okay, so your secret is productivity. The people Absolutely. who work the cash register at Boloco they're taught how to do more in the time available, and that's how you pay them, I think, a starting wage. What is it, nine fifty an hour, something like that? We start, at, we start anywhere between 9 and 11, to be honest. Um, okay. and, uh, and, and I think it is 9.50 now, um, and it, it should be 10 at this point. Now, you've got the, the one thing that the caveat to all of this is you've got some part-time workers who are college students, and they're, they're not in the sort of livable wage category. Um, but it's not just about productivity. It's, it's really about connecting with guests and connecting with your customers and building a loyalty that, that drives people back. And that, alongside of productivity, is what builds sales and what builds profitability. Sure. And in that case, you, could, you, you can pay people a lot more than we pay as a rule in this industry. But I've got to say, um, yeah. Boloco has a higher uh, price structure doesn't it? I mean, it's, much, it's higher than McDonald's, it's higher than Wendy's, it's higher than White Castle. It's not yeah. traditional, super fast, cheap food. You're a little bit more upscale. Your average check price is significantly above McDonald's, I'm sure. Therefore... $7.50. Well, yeah. that, that's well above McDonald's, so therefore yeah. you can afford to pay your counter people a bit more money than seven twenty-five minimum. One could say that. Um, that. At the same time, the reason our prices are as they are is primarily driven by the quality of the ingredients that we use and, and, and the responsibility of the ingredients. So hmm. let me just give you one, one thing that we, we think about all the time, which is uh, we use the highest quality ingredients available, you know, responsibly raised meats, uh, organics, and, uh, and, and we're willing to pay more for that and for the humane treatment of animals. And when we increase our prices because of that, Generally speaking, over the past 10 years, customers have said, okay, we'll pay. Okay. But what about the people? What about, what about high quality people? What about paying for people to come in and have high quality lives just like we want the cows to have happy lives while yeah. they're alive? Um, how well, does that work? In? And so we're, we're, trying to, we're trying to work that into the balance. All right, we but, hear you, John. Yeah. We hear you. 9.50, 9 to 9.50 to start with at Boloco in the Boston area. And much higher going forward. I understand. We're, we're up to $17 today in, in, in numbers of cases. So. All right. Hey, John Pepper, thanks very much for joining us. We Thank appreciate you. it. Thanks, sir. Thank you. The Dow is up 58 points. Worth noting, a little bit of a breakout there, nearly 60 points higher.